is uh, the day that commemorates the day that slaves in Texas uh, were notified of their freedom, which was a year after um, the Emancipation Proclamation. So June 19th was that day. Well, I just want to come out, you know, support the Juneteenth. It's fun and function. You can see art and uh, crafts and talent. So, uh, Sugar Soldier, can you tell us a little bit about the history of the Buffalo Soldiers? Well, one of the things that's really important to know is that back in the time when slavery had just ended, the Army needed some people to go out in the front because they were losing a lot of their soldiers and they wanted someone out in the front line. So, the blacks were among their slaves and they wanted something to do where it was other than just working in the field. So what they decided to do was to work where they could uh, try to get into the military. They would have some benefits because they were going to get fed every day. They would have somewhere to sleep. They'd have something to do. They were going to make a difference for this country. So that's how they, the military, the army came up with giving and establishing the Buffalo Soldiers. But once they established them, one thing I like to share, especially being a woman, is there happened to be one female Buffalo Soldier. She went by the name of, her name was Kathleen Williams, but they did not allow any women in the military back in the 1800s. So she decided to disguise herself as a man. Back then they didn't do physicals. So it was very easy. She just cut her hair and made herself look like a man. Wore men's clothes. And she enlisted in the United States Army under the name of William Cafe. She just forced her name from Kathleen Williams. Oh, that's so funny. So she enlisted in the military and for almost two years she was a soldier. Buffalo soldier. And then uh, after those two years, she became ill. She went to the infirmary. They did a physical, found out she was a woman, and she was discharged. Out of the Buffalo, represents, she represents the birth of the Buffalo soldiers because of the Indian naming them. So they had their respect for the Buffalo they herded. They had a respect for the black soldiers that they saw. So they developed peace between them with the peace pipe and go on the other side of the motorcycle. And therefore, was born the name and the legacy of the Buffalo Soldiers. Delicious. And some chicken too? Oh, yeah. oh wow.